All right, if you've been watching the channel, you know that one of my favorite TIE fighters is right here in front of you. It looks like he's got eyeliner on. He might, who knows, he's a star, he can do what he wants. But non tha Kit, I know I'm in the way in the corner here, but that's non tha Kit with all the tattoos, Japanese tattoos. And it couldn't be more perfect because look who he's fighting. A Japanese man named Koki Seto. So non tha Kit versus Koki Seto. 28 year old versus a 27 year old, 5'9, 5'9, 142.4 pounds, down to the fucking ounce. These guys are on the same weight. Thailand versus Japan. Uh, this is a uh, rivalry as old as time, these two fighting with each other. Kickboxing, Muay Thai. Which is better? Let's find out. Catch weight, 143 pounds, Muay Thai action. I had it at 0.25 speed. If you watch the last uh, fight with me, we were thinking that maybe it was a bit of a fakery, maybe a bit of a scam that his uh his opponent threw in the towel. I think that who was that with? I already forget the name. But that's okay. All right, you can check it out. It's the last video on the channel. We got a good fight in front of us right here, and we know that. Wow, the glitter, the showmanship, the hair. Man, these Japanese can put on a show. <laughs> Let's do it. He looks in good shape. My favorite style of fighter is the Japanese kickboxer. I love karate. So if they're karate style, even better. Kyokushin specifically style, even better. Shotokan, we'll take it. Just as good. Okinawan, why not? We're good for all of it. But you can't doubt a tie. Especially non thaw Kit. This guy is more aggressive than 90% of the fighters in this sport. I swear to God. Him versus River Daz. That's a fight worth watching. There we go. Strong mullet. Good attitude. Loves his sport, loves his country. It's Muay Thai, not just kickboxing. Bazooka Koki Seto. 29 and 11. Damn, look at the haircut on his coach there. You want to fight that guy? Fight out of the PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym? No thanks. Great win rate. He's good. I'm telling you right now, if you're not going to watch this fight with me, then you go on 1FC, you watch it on your own time, and you watch every fight from non Kit with one, because, man, he is more fun than 90% of the fighters in the sport. I won't stop saying that, because I love his style. Let's hope he does well. I hope we get enough out of this, right? I don't want to see a knockout right away. I want to see them duke it out a bit. Are right, these Japanese kickboxers known for their footwork, speed, crafty combinations, great boxing? All right, great counter there from uh, Seito. Nantha Kip putting the pressure on, trying to cut off the ring, keep him up against the ropes. We got a good fight ahead of us. All right, caught the kick when Nantha Kip was very ready. To punch off of that catch. Alright, a little bit of footwork. Marching around the ring. High guard by both guys. Seems like Seto has a bit more of a footwork sort of base to him. Like he wants to move around the ring. Keep a little bit of space. Alright, crash when it's appropriate. Nearly ran right into an elbow there. Nantha Kit's going to keep marching him down, though. He's not going to give him any breathing room. He's going to keep trying to counter. He's making subtle reads right now. He wants to lock him into the corner and just be able to unload. There we go. He was sneaking in some little headbutts. I don't know. They seem to be banging their heads off each other. Nice. Solid right hook from Seto. Seto's hesitant, though. I don't know. He seems like he's hesitating to me. 
Jake. Give me that low kick one more time. I don't know if you want it. All right? Good little clinch work. All right, he keeps. Oh! Oh! That spitting back kick off the miss? Shut up. Oh. That was beautiful. Absolutely did not see that coming. Oh my god, I can't wait for the the slow-mo of that. Oh, but now he's getting a little cocky. He's dropping his hands, doing some silly shit. These ties will not stray from their game plan. So yes, you might have just hurt him, but you are fighting the same guy that you were fighting before you hurt him. 100%. He's going to be implementing the exact same style. If anything, he learned from that, and it's going to be harder to do it again. Yeah, he's getting clipped, though. He's definitely damaged, that's for sure. 30 seconds left in the round. Oh! Here we go, pressure. Now I thought Kit's got to start setting up these kicks a little bit. But oh! Tugged him off the ropes. What, he's upset about that? What are you upset about? Oh, he's fine. Ah, oh, he's just saying, don't call it a fucking knockdown. He pulled me off my feet. That doesn't count. Oh, he called it a knockdown. I don't know if that... That wasn't a knockdown. 100% it wasn't. He punched him while he was pulling his leg out. Damn, that was a good first round. This is what I'm thinking so far. Okay, so we got non-thought kit putting that non-stop pressure on, but he's not setting up any of his kicks. He's just marching forward, trying one shot at a time, which is sort of the traditional Thai strategy. They want to be throwing these one shot at a time, sort of whatever technique, because they want to test their opponents, see what the reactions are, and then as the fight progresses, start to react in different ways, set up different techniques, and work into a, a little bit more of an advanced game plan. But they like to test out a lot of their techniques beforehand. And then and we got his opponent Seiko there who's being a little bit trickier right he's using footwork but he's seems to be getting a little bit cocky as the fights going on right he was dropping his hands right he was doing some more erratic movements but the I guess the creativity of his kickboxing is keeping him in this fight and making sure that non thought kit is not getting comfortable with any of his striking techniques. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't really know where this fight was going to go. I know that spinning back fist off of the head kick miss was beautiful, but let's play it out and just see what goes down with it. Man. Non thought kick got his shit rocked. Here we go. Look at this. No, I need that. Okay, yeah, a little step in right hand. Misses. Oh. Oh. You kidding me with that shit? Oh. Oh my god. Wait, missing. Yes. And we saw a non thought kit do that more than a few times. Right? Off of. Uh, the missed kicks, or rather off of a lot of Psycho's kicks, that's not a knockdown. Like, he pulled him off the ropes, he was putting his weight into the ropes, you tug him out, yes, you hit him, but all right, that was really more of a, a trip than anything else, or a sweep. Now, Psycho's getting a lot more aggressive. Both guys putting the pressure on. Yeah, non thought kit is going to pick up the aggression big time. Beautiful catch. Ate the kick, but made the catch. All right, it's going to make non thought kit maybe a bit more hesitant with that technique. Or force him to set it up a little bit more uh, intelligently. Good open stance. Both guys tend to miss the kicks and land forward. Oh yeah, calling it on. A little cocky Japanese action. Again, missing that kick and landing forward. Landing forward. Landing forward. Right, he's establishing a habit with that kick. That's opening him up for potential counter. Or, he's anticipating a specific counter from Sato. And he's going to counter that counter. Alright. We don't know how deep this shit goes. 
Yep. Nice little shot off the break and then the elbow. Oh, man. He pinned him with that. Look at the little dance. Little dance. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh. It's been an elbow. What'd I say about not that kid? What'd I say about him? Man, we got a brawl on the table. Oh, my God. A technical fight is off the menu. We're here to fight, boys. Caught the kick. Little sweep action. Just giving him some breathing room. But not that kid is just ready to kill. He wants to finish this fight right now. Keeps cornering him. Sato's not using as much intelligent footwork. Like he's trying to circle off a little bit right now. But he's not u doing anything to actually allow himself to do it, right? Like, why would Nantha Kit not just keep cutting him off everywhere he goes? All right, he's got to be using feints, all right? Some linear techniques, maybe front kicks. There's a feint, right? Created a bit of space. But he's putting himself into corners. And there's Nantha Kit off the catch, trying to land his right hand. Oh! Oh, he went down because he knew it was about to happen. He's accepting the catch just so he can keep on punching. Oh! <laughs> Tornadoed himself off the feet. You gotta love a good spinning technique, but it's gotta be done calculated. Or right, you don't just go spinning at the guy and hope for the best. Oh, there's another beautiful one. All right, it's working on and off, but man, he is taking a bit of a beating to survive here. Whoa. Man, a bit of shit talk between these two. All right, this is where I'm at in the second round. I would say that Nantha Kit's pressure is just adding up, adding it up, adding up, and Sato doesn't know what to do with it. You saw he was sort of falling apart in a lot of those moments there, and if he even gives an inch when he's trying to do this big footwork game, he's trying to like constantly take angles, he's setting up some more creative shots. If he gives an inch to Nantha Kit's pressure and he's trapped up against the ropes, it's like going to be game over for him. So he has to stay disciplined to his game plan the entire time or else Nantha Kit's going to put that pressure on. He's going to keep pounding him against the, the ropes and you know the creativity of Sato is just going to go out the window and it's going to become a brawl and we know who's going to win that. Uh, but yeah, good fight so far. Man, I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with this. There we go. You gotta love a Japanese tie matchup. Especially when both those guys are fighting true to their style and they're not afraid of a fight. This is when this shit gets good. There we go. Oh, chipped his chin there. Wow. Yeah, non Kit is just not that disciplined. Oh, I thought it was an elbow. Or is that such a tight distance? It looked like he threw that stabbing elbow down the middle. I bet if he threw that, he'd be KO'd on the dirt right now. But he's not that disciplined with his kicks. I guess his anticipation is always, okay, whatever happens off my kick, I'm willing to take a shot to give a shot anyways. So if you plan on defending it, if you tr plan on catching it, right? if you just end up taking my kick, I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to keep on punching anyways. Because right, he doesn't get his kick back to stance ever. Right, he throws that kick and he sort of just drops. Okay, maybe that right there he did. Oh yeah, doing a little dance. He's hiding behind the ref. Man, we got a good fight ahead of us. What is he doing? Sato's just being silly. No time for silliness. Oh shit. Sato looks gassed right now. All right. Working in a little bit of spinning technique. Doing it more technically, at least using it as a feint that time to keep the space. All right. He has to keep his space from Nantha Kit. That's the only way that he's going to be winning this fight. If he allows Nantha Kit to put that pressure on, like we already know, it's going to be a bad day for him. So, just like we were talking about in between those two rounds. He has to stay on his footwork. He's got to stay disciplined with his game plan, right? And he can't be doing shit like this. He took his guard down for one second. What'd I say? One second he took his guard down and non thought Kit was all over him. All right? He can't afford to relax in this fight. This is getting messy. 
Yeah, put that pressure on. No, 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 keep your guard up, keep your guard up. Oh, uh, no! Stop! <laughs> I appreciate a bit of showmanship, but... God, not when your life is on the line. He's doing everything right in this third round, though, but I don't think he's doing enough to win it. Like, Nonthok hits definitely landing more shots. He won the second round outright. Lost the first round, I would say. So, Sato's going to take this to the decision, and he's going to lose if he doesn't actually pick up the pace a little bit. I love the looseness of Nonthok hit, though. He's so relaxed in there. Like, he's such a fighter's fighter. Oh, I ran him right into that kick. All right? It's, oh! Right in the side of his head. Sato's being cocky, but dude, you're fucked. Again, hitting the head. Yeah, he's like, keep on talking. Well, look at you. I, I think that's how you call somebody a pussy in Muay Thai. <laughs> He's just throwing like the shittiest spinning stuff just to fuck with them. <laughs> okay, we gotta see who wins. And we'll go from there. I think. Alright, this is what I'm thinking. How much fun is he? Did he live up to the hype that I said? He is so much fucking fun. Alright, so. Oh. Okay, let's watch some of these replays. Man, that head kick just popped off the map from nowhere. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, that couldn't have been better. Literally dropped his hand to it. Right, Nantha Kit was making the read that uh, Sato was trying to catch a lot more of the kicks, and then just went up to the head right afterwards. Made a perfect read and reaction there. All right, so let's talk before we see the decision. All right, this is what I'm thinking. First round, we saw that big knockdown from Sato. I would say the majority of the round was Nonthok hits pressure and uh, maybe landing an equal amount of shots. So we got pressure, equal amount of shots. It would lean towards Nonthok hit, but that big knockdown, we got to give it to Sato. I think that's pretty through and through. Maybe you guys disagree with me, but this is just what I'm seeing. That second round, right, we saw Nanthok Kid just put crazy pressure on him. He's landing all kinds of combinations. Right, Sato looks scared. All right, without a doubt, that was Nanthok Kid's round. Last round right here, Sato was doing really well at the start, right, using a lot of footwork, sort of landing enough shots where it looked like he, if he kept that up, he could be winning the round, but Nanthok Kit was just landing better combinations. He managed to right cover the distance a lot and and play into that like really messy sort of striking style that he can implement and i think again we got to give it to nantha kit so uh two rounds to one nantha kit and based on the way that the judging usually goes in one uh they usually give it to aggression more so than anything else i think all right they want to incentivize knockouts more than anything else In your favor of your winner. Yeah. Just what I thought. Yo, at the end of that last round, though, we got to go back and see Nantha Kit pretend to do a spinning back kick. Like, like that shit was so funny. <laughs> Why did he do He did that just to screw with him, which is the most beautiful part. Like, he throws all these spinning techniques. They're kind of both talking to each other. Like, he's dropping his hands. It's like he's pretending to do his style at the end of the fight because he knows that he won. Look at this spin. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, here we go. Like, it was the maybe the worst spinning technique I've ever seen, but I swear he was laughing while he was doing it. Like, he knew what he was doing. And he heard, waited for the click, click. The 10 seconds left. Look. Go spin. Here it comes. <laughs> Like, it was terrible. Like, that's such a bad spinning wheel kick, spinning back kick. Like, I don't even know what the hell he was going for. This is such a bad position to throw that from. Like, he clearly doesn't know the footwork for it. 
<laughs> like there was no way in hell that that one's gonna land. He's like, screw it, you're throwing spinning shit at me. I'm gonna throw spinning shit at you. Man, that was funny. And it looked like it pissed him off. Like he's running off. Oh my god, Sato was just not feeling that. So he goes spinning technique back. Like not that kid's laughing, jogging around the ring. They started screwing with each other a bit at the end there. He knows he won. He was playing with him by this point. That was so funny. You gotta appreciate a little bit of showmanship done at the right time. Like, Seita was losing the fight and still trying to do a bunch of showy stuff. Like, it made no sense. But this is how you do showmanship. All right, you do a little pretend spinning back kick, dropping the hands. All right, oh yeah, he hit him with the uh, little chirp. Yeah, 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 keep talking, keep talking. I think that's what that was. He's telling him to come to him, but he's running away the entire fight. He's like, okay, bye, bye. You scared? That's okay. You can go, bye. <laughs> okay, now he's pretending to do the Lecomon. I believe that's what it's called. All right, they're just being silly at the end there. Man, that was a fun fight, though. Uh, overall... Moral of the story, watch Nonthought Kit whenever he's on 1FC. It is worth it. I promise you that. Okay, uh, that was fun. We'll see you next time. And uh, peace. I'm Connor. This is Red and